Hello everyone, myself Guru Kren. Today I am going to explain NFE to DFA conversion through JFLAF software. First, for doing this, we will enter to JFLAF software and we will select Finite Automation and uh, the new window will open. Here we have options for file, for creating new files, input, inputs, we can run multiple inputs for testing the DFA, NFA, test view convert you can convert uh, the nfa to dfa as i said earlier my topic is to convert uh, one nfa design to dfa here we have a cursor for uh, moving and uh, your state creator and your uh, transition creator and here for deleting so first uh, my nfa is uh, thus this nfa will accept the strings over a 0 comma 1 uh, and it has a substring called 101 it should it should contain substring 101 with a or a string 0 comma 1 i will display my problem here for creating like i'll take three states q1 q2 q3 now first i will uh, create nfa to accept 101 Before that, I'll give my initial and final state. If I right click here, I can select as initial state. If I right click here, I can select as a final state. Now I'll give transitions. First, we'll create transitions for 101 for accepting substring 1, 0, 1, 0. It accepts the substring 101. Now, if the string comes from 0 or 1, it should, like uh, for example, 0, 1, 0, 1, it should accept that string. So I'll take here 0 for accepting 0, 1, 0, 1, and uh, 1 for starting with the uh, 1, 1, 0, 1. And if it starts with 0, 1, 0, 1 and it also ends with 0 means we, have, we should need one more 0 and if it ends with 1 we need one more 1. So the ma uh, yeah, major difference between NFA and DFA is NFA is deterministic finite automata and uh, NFA is uh, non-deterministic finite automata. We can have uh, like uh, for symbolic representation of alphabet we can have only one state in DFA where in NFA we can have two states here one here also we can take one this is a major difference now we will run this uh, DFA simulation and see whether it is working properly for running this we will go to input and uh, we will go to multiple run here I gave empty string whether we will see it will accept the empty string or not and I am I given 0, 0, 0, 0 which doesn't have substring 101 and I have Again, substring 101 and 101001 and it starts from 1 and ends with 1 and 1001 and 110 and ends with 0. I'll give basically like 0101 0, 1, 0, 1. We'll see whether these inputs will run or not. As we can see, it is empty string, so it is rejecting. We can view the trace of it. See, nothing is there here we can see there is nothing over here that's why it is not accepting it is and we will see 0 0 0 why it is not accepting this see in q0 it will go 0 it doesn't find and it will remain in q0 0 and it will say it is not re it is rejected so we will see substring 101 whether it is uh, it is accepted how it accept accepted we will see 1 Zero 01 we have after it, it recognizes 1 and moves to q1 state and after recognizing 0 it will move to q2 state after recognizing 1 it finally ends final state 101 is accepted we'll see how we can convert this nfa to dfa here we have conversion and we'll convert to dfa as if i give complete here it will show complete complete DFA conversion here. I'll reduce this atom size and make it proper. I'll tap and cursor.
here we can see the full uh, conversion of NFA to DFA as I said earlier the major difference is uh, we cannot have a symbolic represent for alphabet more than one transition here we have only one transition for each symbolic alphabet whereas in NFA we had uh, two transition states and uh, the major difference is that uh, we can construct an uh, NFA very easily compared to DFA we will test whether it is working properly or not we will go to multiple run uh, I took the same uh, inputs whatever what I took earlier in NFA I'll run and see whether it is working properly as we can see the entry string is rejected because uh, there is no substring or anything it contains it is full of empty so it is rejected and we'll see a zero zero zeros because it doesn't have any what you say one zero one as a substring so it is also rejected we can view trace here also if you want for clear clarification see it always remains in q naught so it is not running we will try to give one more input zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero one we don't need because our substring is one zero yeah uh, now we will run and see again see it is rejecting we'll view the trace why it is rejecting and we'll come to clarification uh, our string is 01001001 and uh, q naught in q naught it will read 0 after reading it will go to q1 here it will read 01 and it will go to q2010 it will be read and again it will come back to q naught 0100 and it will go to q1 again 01001 it is finished reading q2 0100100 it will be read in q2 and it will come back again q0 0100101 1 and q1 because it read full but we don't have our substring what we say 101 we construct our, our nfa earlier to accept the substring 101 but it doesn't contain any substring 101 in, in this string so it is rejecting overall our nfa to dfa conversion we have done now so this is all about uh, nfa to dfa thank you